All right, very pleased to be joined by Western Mustang, Brett Ellerman, who's coming to us from London, Ontario. First of all, Brett, with everything going on in the world right now with the COVID-19 situation, how are you doing? Where are you? Where are your roommates? What's going on? Yeah, well, first of all, pleasure to be here. Thank you for uh, for taking your time to talk to me. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, still in London. Uh, my a couple of my roommates are still here. And just been trying to train as much as I can uh, without leaving the house. I uh, been doing some home workouts, and I was uh, there's a tree in my yard the other day. I was trying to use for some pull-ups and just try to u- utilize the uh, the resources I have around me without uh, going too far. But uh, yeah. What do you think, Greg Marshall, and some of your other coaches? How, how would they describe you as a player? Do you think I'm a hard worker and have a good sense of the the offense? Not only what I was doing, but what other guys were doing too, to also understand the big picture of things. I think that I'm I'm fortunate enough to have uh, the size that I do. So I've definitely had uh, a few quarterbacks that I've played with tell me that uh, I'm definitely not hard to find. They like the range that I have. They can kind of put it anywhere around me and and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get to it with my my long arms or my big frame, so. Which CFL player would you compare your play to? Which CFL player do you think you're most like? I think that's tough. A lot of guys bring uh, different aspects to their, to their game, um, but I think if I had to choose one, I'd probably say maybe uh, Brad Sinopoli for Ottawa. I like the way that he plays, and I also admire that, that he was a quarterback uh, in university beforehand uh, so definitely uh, an athlete yeah I like the way that he plays he's a big bodied receiver and uh, he finds space on the field and gets open for his quarterbacks and he makes plays so uh, if I could com- compare myself to be fortunate enough to compare myself to somebody uh, probably Brad Sinopoli yeah. oftentimes players use the combine as an opportunity to, sh- to yeah. show something that maybe their tape doesn't show we use the combine often guys draft stock can can mm-hmm. sort based on how they perform at the combine is there anything you were hoping to show scouts and gms at for the combine sure. maybe isn't on your film yeah i think um for sure the the biggest thing that i'm that i'm gonna i think miss out on was kind of the interview process and letting teams get to know me face to face and not just base it off because i know a lot of the time they want to know more than just the football player, right? So I think um, I was a little bit disappointed about that. And and I think the one-on-ones I was uh, disappointed out on because, you know, you really get to show uh, the scouts or whoever's watching that you can compete with some of the best athletes uh, in youth sports right now and or football in general right now at the Combine. So I think the, yeah, the, the interviews and the one-on-ones were kind of the two things that I was the most disappointed uh, that I was going to be missing out on, but and at the end of the day, uh, hope you showed enough on tape and uh, hope for the best. Yeah, one on ones are, are definitely our favorite part at yeah. CFL.ca from the content team. We 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 love them. Um, we were really looking forward to sitting down and talking with you at the combine, but really glad we got to do this virtually. Please yeah. stay well and stay in Me touch too. over the next couple months. For sure, I appreciate you guys reaching out.